Hey everyone, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. Normally, uh, you hear people say that it's collecting, it, it's a marathon, not a sprint, right? That the goal is to, over time, assemble a collection that, you know, of things that you're proud of, things that you love, and usually that's how, how I approach collecting. Uh, but there are times, uh, the last three weeks in particular, uh, that really feel like a sprint. And it all started at the National. Um, it's been 22 days, I guess, since our, since my brother and I, uh, since our first day at the National, because it was Wednesday, uh, July 28th. And I was determined to get a, a, a vintage rack pack, right? A rack pack from a year that I'd never had before and preferably the oldest rack pack uh, that I could afford. And so at the National, I've already shown this, but it's part of the story. At the National, I got this beautiful 1977 Topps rack. And that's a Gary Templeton rookie card on top. Just an absolutely gorgeous rack pack, right? So I got this from Baseball Card Exchange. Within two minutes of the show opening, I walked over on Wednesday and got this. This was the oldest rack I could afford without blowing pretty much my entire budget on a single rack. I'll show that again just because I love it. It's awesome. So I got that rack. Okay, I met someone at the show, really, really nice uh, fellow rag pack collector named John. I've talked about him on the channel a few times. He and I met, we chatted, and after the show, um, he and I uh, have talked some more, and we worked out, actually worked out a trade, and I uh, sent him my eight, 1985 Topps Double Mattingly rack, and I sent him uh, 1986 Topps blank, uh, blank back football rack that I got at the National, and I sent him some cash. And in return, I've already shown this on camera too, but I got an even older rack pack, a 1976 Topps rack. Okay, so up until uh, three weeks ago, the oldest rack pack I'd ever had was a 1978. Okay, so in the last three weeks, I've gotten a... 77 rack at the, at the National, the 76 tops rack that I got uh, through trading. And then I also uh, recently worked out a trade plus cash combo with my friend Phil, uh, whose channel is I Love Baseball Cards. And Phil and I have become uh, really good friends. He's a really nice guy. And he and I worked out, a, like I said, a cash trade combo. And I was able to get, and this came in the mail today, a 1975 Tops rack pack. Just gorgeous. And it has a red on the top, which is great because I'm a Reds fan. Just a beautiful rack pack. And I'll show you the back. Just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there's the header. So you can see the header. 49 cents, 42 cards. Just, just a, a beautiful pack. So, basically, other than just a couple of 1980s racks, all my 80s racks are gone. I've traded away all my double racks. I've traded away uh, pretty much all of my 80s stuff. And I have these mid-1970s racks now. And so, in, in a very quick time period, uh, my collection is completely turned on its head. But in a really cool way, a way that I did not anticipate uh, seeing... Uh, uh, you know, when I first decided I wanted to start pursuing some 70s racks, I didn't think in three weeks I would have a 75 tops rack, a 76 tops rack, and a 77 tops rack. And it, it, it's just, I, I'm really excited, but it's, it's, it's been so much that I really have pumped the brakes on buying on eBay, just because it's been a lot, just a lot of moving parts to get these, right? Especially the two that I got in trading. You know, it's, it's, there's a lot going on, and so I just said, you know what, I'm just going to appreciate the ones that I have here, right? I uh, appreciate these three. Um, again, most of my 80s racks are gone, and that's okay, you know, because in, in their place, I've gotten these rare, truly vintage rack packs, right? And so you have to be open. Oh, always be open to listen to trades, because you never know what you'll get. And it's important to... Um, f free yourself to al allow your collection to evolve, right? Your collection doesn't have to be stagnant. 
right? And as your interests change, your collecting can change. And so I have these three, and in addition to that, uh, Phil, in addition to the 75 rack, Phil sent me an 81 Tops Nolan Ryan card, and he also sent me a really, really nice card that I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna read the note that he attached to it before I show it. Uh, Phil writes, again, the channel's I Love Baseball Cards. Check him out. He's got some amazing stuff, amazing unopened material. Just a, just a sweetheart of a guy, really, really nice guy. Uh, I'm glad he and I have become such good friends. But the note is, he, uh, he writes, this is the one I pulled in my rack opening video. The centering takes it to a five, unfortunately, or a seven OC. Didn't think you had this, didn't think you have this card yet. And I don't have this card yet. Uh, Phil was kind enough to send me, in addition to the 75 tops rack, a George Brett rookie card. So I got a George Brett rookie card. This was not part of our trade. He just threw this in, um, which is just an incredibly kind, generous thing to do. Uh, and I, I've never owned a George Brett rookie card. And it's, it, I mean, other than the centering, it is a beautiful, beautiful card. The corners are just blazing. I mean, it is a gorgeous card. So I am just floored by the act of generosity. So thank you very much, Phil. Um, really, really appreciated and totally unnecessary. You didn't have to do this. Um, there's some really, I've, I've done a lot of videos where I talk about the good people in this hobby, and there's some... For all the negativity and for all the PWCCs and, you know, the, the Gary Mosers and all the, the bad stuff, there's some really, really nice people in this hobby. And the friendships that you make in this hobby, I'm convinced, are as strong as any that you could make outside of the hobby. Because you have this bond. Um, and, and it's not with everybody, right? Some people click, some people don't click. And that's fine. But the people that you form bonds with... Um, or, or it's it's really special to me. And so the friendships make it what it is. So I have a George Brett rookie card now. So again, thank you, Phil. Uh, very much appreciated, my friend. Uh, that is what I have for you guys today. Uh, it's been, a, again, a whirlwind, of a, a whirlwind of three weeks. Uh, I'm going to put out more content uh, as, I, as I want, to, as I desire, but um, there may not be that many mail days coming up just because I'm not going to be buying as much. Uh, so the content will be a little bit different. You know, maybe more of the uh, investigatory type videos, you know, where I ex try to uh, talk about collation and, and things of this nature, detecting fraud and unopened material, this type of stuff. I'll probably be a little bit more focused on that type of content in the coming weeks uh, and while I um, get ready, so to speak, for uh, the next purchase. But three 1970s racks in three weeks. How do you beat it? I don't think you can. Thanks for watching. Keep collecting vintage baseball.